Hello, Ms. Dower here. Today, we're going to be talking about remainders. When we're talking about remainders, we're talking about solving a division problem that does not split evenly. Today, we're going to use 27 divided by five. Now, if I draw a bar model, it will look like this. 27 is my whole split into five groups, and I end up with five in each group plus a little bitty two over here. And this two is my remainder. Because if we skip count by five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then my little two over here. What we're going to do today is we're gonna talk about the different things that a remainder might mean. There are four different things that usually you do with a remainder, and it depends on the story problem. So the first story problem that we're gonna talk about is kids going on a field trip. We're going to say that I have 27 students and I can fit five kids in one vehicle. And I need to figure out how many vehicles I get. So in this problem, each one of these represents one vehicle. So I have five kids that are safely in vehicles, and then I have these two kids that are left out. And I need to figure out, what am I gonna do with those two kids? For those two kids, I have to get one whole extra vehicle. So in the story problem about the kids on the bus, my answer is that I need six buses. Because I can't leave those two kids at home. My next problem is about shopping. So we're going to pretend that I go to the store with $27. And I see these fabulous pens for $5 each. And I wanna know how many pens I can buy with them. So in this case, each five represents one pen. And then I have $2 left over. Again, the question was, how many pens can I buy? I can buy five pens. If I try to walk out of there with six pens, I am stealing. I don't wanna do that. So when we're talking about shopping, my answer was five pens. Now, let's think about another one. Let's think about pizza, okay? So we're going to pretend that I have 27 delicious slices of cheese pizza and I'm splitting it with five. So there's me and four other people and we all had an equal amount. And I'm asking how much pizza did we eat? In this case, we're saying that I had five slices of pizza and one fifth of a slice of a pizza. So we all had our delicious slices of pizza. Oh, no, there's two fifths because there's two slices left over. So I had my five slices of delicious pizza, and then there were two slices left over, and the five of us split those two slices. So in this case, my answer ends up being a whole and a fraction. Now, sometimes your remainder is actually your answer, like in this story problem. If I had 27 pieces of candy, and I decide that I'm going to give it away but I'm gonna keep the leftovers for myself and I wanna know how much I'm gonna get. If I have 27 pieces of candy and I am giving it to five of my friends to share equally, I will give each friend five pieces of candy and then I will have two pieces of candy left over for me. So in the candy problem, my answer was my remainder, two pieces of candy for me. So I want you guys to look at this problem and then look at all of the different answers that we got when that was our problem. 
So when you are reading a word problem and you have a remainder, you have to think really carefully about what the problem is actually asking because you might leave kids without a school bus to go on on their field trip. You might accidentally steal some pens. You might end up with not the right amount of pizza or you might end up saying that I get more candy than I actually do. And then when you give me those two pieces, I'll be disappointed. So remember, when you're reading division problems, read carefully.